Hey everybody, Digibro here, letting you know that me and Victor started up this Dark Souls 3 Let's Play, and we recorded the first three episodes, and they were really great. Some of the best material we ever did, talking a lot about the game, analyzing it and stuff, getting all in-depth, and for whatever reason, the video component evaporated. There's no better way to put it, there's no solution, and I have no idea exactly what happened. But the video component's gone, so, uh... I've gone ahead and recorded across two different characters a bunch of footage um, of vaguely what we were talking about, and I'm going to try to set it to kind of sort of be like the footage from the original Let's Play, but uh, it's not the original, so if things seem a little bit off when we're talking about them, it's because I could not recreate the entire hour and 12 minutes of footage. But thankfully, the stuff we recorded after this, the rest of the episodes have been fine, so, uh, yeah, enjoy this Frankenstein monster of a first episode. Yes, indeed, a new series of Digibros. We're playing Dark Souls 3. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Digibros. Dark Souls 3, we're doing it. We did Dark Souls 1, and it was great. Uh, we did Bloodborne. Yeah, a little man. bit of Demon Souls. We left it incomplete. And now we're finally playing Dark Souls 2, man. Yes, the, last the, the, the real series, Dark Souls 2. The only two. one that's left. <laughs> uh, you may have seen my 45-minute uh, Dark Souls 2 video where I just bitched about it the whole time. Um, I may eventually do some kind of Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. I have the space on my computer now to have the game on there. I'm even though I show. Cool hate cutscene. that game. More than life itself. But we're going to go ahead and start Dark Souls 3. Fuck yeah. This game's amazing. It's pretty great. It's pretty good. Pretty it's, solid. It's pretty fucking good. It should be this. I could be a night guy. That'd be cool. I, you know. I want to be this guy. A, a lot of people have already tried to like rank this game among the Souls games. But honestly, I don't think that's fair. Because this game just came out. Yeah. And you kind of have to You have to play it a few times. You have to let it age and see right. how you want to well, feel I think, about it. I think, you know, when Dark Souls first came out, I don't think a lot of people were willing to say it was better than Demon Souls. I think... Yeah. I mean... I certainly didn't think it was better for a long time. Right. Because like, Demon Souls meant so much to me. Right. And, and when Dark Souls came out, it was very different. And so anyone who had played Demon Souls, it was like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I like Dark Souls as much, you know. But then... I think the reason Dark Souls, like, I mean, there's there's a lot of people who still feel that way where they can't really pick a favorite, but I think Dark Souls is so much mm. more replayable than Demon Souls. Like, it's got a lot less frustrating elements, and it's easier to just pick up and run through really quick, you yeah. know? I think because of that, that game sort of became the more survivable one. And, of course, the fact that it's on PC as opposed to just being on PS3, yes. um, you know, was a big, big help. But, like, even Dark Souls 2, I feel like a lot more people have probably run through Dark Souls 2 a lot more times than Demon's Souls, just because Demon's Souls is not as, like, pick-up-and-play feeling, yeah. you know? Um, and then, of course, Bloodborne uh, has still been divisive, but personally, I like Bloodborne the most out of all of them. Uh -huh. um, but this game, you know, I can't, I can't decide. Because, like, my first impression when I first played th through it was, like, it's not as good as Dark Souls, Demon's Souls, or Bloodborne. That was my first impression, uh -huh. right? It's 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 almost as good as all three. It's up there. Yes. But it's uh you know it's not quite as good. But then this game is the most replayable of all. Like I immediately started New Game Plus, and it's all I've wanted to do. All I want to do is play I Dark Souls. Do 3. New Game Plus because I haven't felt the replayability with the the early levels and making new guys. Like I this was gonna be the fourth time I've gone through the first area because I keep making new characters. We well, we you lost were trying the session. To... You tried to play, you've tried to play a dex build, and you didn't enjoy it. Yeah. You tried to play something else and didn't, didn't really. Uh, Pyromancer. It. Pyromancer. And then, like, it kept crashing. Yeah, and right. That we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Yeah. This fucking character. This is just disgusting. I'm, I'm trying to, like, blow through this because it's hard to, to focus on making my, my, my creation. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man, I had a name for him, but now I feel like I gotta give him a whole new name. <laughs> oh man. Oh god, it's Kiri Bro all over again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Except he's not fat like Kiri Bro. Um, oh, now he's like, with the beard and hair, he's kind of starting to look kind of cool. <laughs> he just looks like a, like a pretty ugly guy, Japanese like, glasses? guy. Is there like. I don't think there is glasses, is there? No, not in this one. Cosmetics. Um, Can I give him pretty makeup? 
Anyway, what the fuck was I saying? You distracted me with this hideous creature. <laughs> um, yeah, you played through a few times, and we we uh, started a Dark Souls 3 Let's Play, and we got about 40 minutes in, and then we had some technical difficulties and had to start over uh, the other day, or was it last night? I don't remember. Um, mm -hmm. So now we're trying again. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's, man, I can't see his face because he has that dumb helmet on. It's so much fun to play, like, like instantaneously, because there's... There's a lot less bullshit in this game than in the previous ones, where, like... <laughs> I can't tell if you're paying attention at all. Shmee! His name is Shmeer! Oh, it's not Shmee! <laughs> no, it's Shmeer! I guess it can... No. Nah. Shmee! His face is more of a Shmeer! <laughs> so, we have... Oh, my God. Our hero, Shmeer, is going on his... His quest into the land of Lothric, <laughs> where he will defeat all of the legendary oh warriors god. and become the new god. It's definitely a new kind of stupid char character name for us. <laughs> it's we've, more of an onomatopoeia. We've had, we've had names like dipshit and, and stuff in the past, but this is like a different uh, kind. I, I, I want to play online and have someone meet Shmeer. I, I dare, I just want someone, some fan of Digibros that I would, like, if I ever met them in person, to try and pronounce the name of this character. <laughs> that, yeah, that would be, I want a t-shirt that just has his face and says, Shmeer! <laughs> it's got a little button that you click to make the sound. <laughs> I now I feel like I'm too close to the TV. Doo -doo -doo. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Shmeer? No. Something about Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we did it. We did a few runs um, of, of the first area. Is what, what you did a few runs of the first, yes. first area. I've been replaying on uh, New Game Plus, just trying to get all the weapons and just get so overpowered that I can't even handle yes. myself anymore. Certain, the worst thing starting a new character is that you're so used to being a fucking badass from the end of the game right. that you get in, you're like, no, I'm weak. Well, I mean, you just I don't want to fight all this shit. Hit, so that was yeah. a problem. Dude, I'm a fucking cool Demon Souls knight. I should have played this way the first time. Man, the first time I came through this area, like, because there's so much signposting to tell you, like, not to go over here. Uh -huh. Like, it's, you just kind of ran over. See, this, yeah. is, this is the thing. Like, this is why you you really got to play Souls games yourself to get the full effect. Because, you know, the number one rule of a Souls game is to play carefully. And, yes. like, if you don't know what you're doing, then you have to be really calm and, and careful. Yeah. And then once you know what you're doing, you can run around like a dipshit. Uh -huh. So, like... This particular spot, there's like a sign before you cross to that water that said like, "Don't go here." Yeah. <laughs> and then the water slows you down, like yeah. it it forces you to walk slower. So it's like really making you consider what you're doing. Like, hey, yeah. if you go over here, this is dangerous. And then you just see off in the distance this huge mass of crystal. <laughs> and so the first time I played, I saw that and I assumed that was going to be like a really hard mini boss because yeah. previous Souls games have had really hard mini bosses in the first area. I was disappointed um, on how easy that guy is because well, I just didn't even fight him. Because I I was scared away because there's there's an item in there and if you try to run towards the item, he'll wake up you yeah. know so you're like fuck so you need to get out of there so you know i didn't fight him because i was scared he was gonna be really tough and uh, um which and my probably philosophy would with, with kill me <laughs> playing these games the first time is just like i am in no hurry right. like i might as well fight him even if he's gonna kill me because i want to experience the whole game so i'll just go and do every dangerous thing because like i don't right. I, you know well, I'm, I, just, I'm, I don't care i just figured he would probably one hit kill me he was yeah. probably meant to be someone i come back to later and i did come back later and kill him you know yes but uh you you just you don't know what it is you're just like what the fuck is that thing uh -huh. you know but instead of all that magical trepidation i felt you just kind of ran in and smacked him a bunch yes. you know well you know because i i felt all that the first time right. but i just want the i want to explain that to the audience because I think it's easy for certain things to feel trivial in this in these games yeah, that aren't certainly. when you're watching someone who's really good at it. Cause like, <laughs> or someone who's played before, you know? Right. Well, like, That's we did the... That's why the, the magic of the first time is always important. Because, yeah. you know, you, you get all the nuance and all the the fear in it. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a great little moment that maybe this Let's Play wouldn't convince you. Uh, of how great that moment is, you know, because we've done it before. <laughs> Which is true of all the Souls games that we've played, you know. 
Right, There's we've been great at all of them, so it hasn't been. Because you know, you kind of stroll on through, and you're talking over it, and you don't get any atmosphere, right. and so it doesn't um, really uh, show what the game is. But anyways, what the fuck were we talking about? Yeah, the different play styles. So this game, uh, my impression of it, and the one that me, me, uh, our friend Don San and our brother Shade, we all played it at once, and. Shit. I don't know if you felt quite the same way, but we all thought this game was, like, really easy compared to the other ones. I didn't think it was, like, stupid easy, but it was certainly, like, I never got stuck on anything for an extreme amount of time. Like, I didn't right. get stuck on stuff because I, I didn't I have as much I think the help. most tries I took on anything was, like, six on one of the final bosses. Jesus. You know, like, <laughs> there was nothing that took me more than three tries in the game. Um... Although, on New Game Plus, there have been moments where there's, like, that one bullshit enemy uh -huh. that fucks me, like, five <laughs> times in a row, and I'm there's like, what the fuck? There's certainly some little challenges here and there if you right. want to go and do them. There's one in the fucking, in the Cathedral of the Deep. There's this fucking, one of those fat ladies. Those fucking fat ladies, they, like, they can't be yeah. staggered. I hate and those And they fucking, fucking attack like crazy. They're Super pain in the ass. ass. So we just beat the first boss. Yeah. Super uh, cool moment in this yes. game where it's, like... You, you feel like you're fighting someone important right off the bat, right. where it's, you there's pull a, a fucking sword out of his chest and you're like, this is badass, what's going on? There's a lot that could be analyzed about this game, and that boss in particular, I feel like is a response to Dark Souls 2. Uh-huh. Because my first impression, I saw that guy in like one of the pre-release trailers for this game, Yeah. and I thought, oh, it's a guy in armor, like what the hell, right? Because uh -huh. everyone's biggest yeah. complaint about Dark Souls 2 was that most of the bosses were just guys in armor, and there was like fucking 40 of them, yeah. right? Or humanoids in general. Right. So this dude, I was like, oh great, another humanoid boss when I saw him in the trailers, but I didn't know he was the first boss. Yeah. I didn't know he'd be like fought really early into the game. So... When you, f but then in that trailer, it also showed that he would explode into that black uh, mass. I was like, okay, yeah. that makes him really different. But the thing is, when you fight him, his movements are like really weird and trippy. Like he he moves in this really like fluid way, and he's got like a great uh -huh. move set. He's really cool to fight, even just as a guy in armor. Yeah. But then he transforms into something different, and he's like the only just guy in armor. Boss. Yeah, pretty much. Like there's a few other like humanoid armor covered enemies, but they're all like really weird and different. None of them are just a guy with a weapon, you know, yeah. except for that dude. Uh, and another version of that dude who you fight later. And it's but cool, like, like, I imagine if you're new to this game, then that fight is probably a great way to learn all the mechanics right. of dodging and Something blocking I, and stuff. I want to make a video about this game, basically about how it simultaneously is a perfect sequel yeah. and also just a perfect standalone game. Because all the things it does that are, like, fan service or that are callbacks mm -hmm. also work for the game itself. Yeah. Like, for instance, right here, this moment, you oh. talk to this, you, you come into this room, you immediately yeah. see that guy, so you naturally are drawn to him, right? Because he's closest. Yeah. Then you run down there, and you see another person, so you naturally talk to her. And if you're like me, which you don't seem to be, <laughs> you'll constantly move your camera while you're talking to people well, because you want to observe your yeah. surroundings, right? It's probably something you would do on your first time through. Exactly. <laughs> By the way, this is our pro strat, uh, put everything into vigor. You'll yes. understand. We'll talk <laughs> about it in a second. Health should really just be the first thing you raise because right. you're not going to get a bunch of good like, weapons right, wait, in the beginning stay, of the game. Stay where you are. Uh, like, look around. Yeah. Just pan your camera around. Pan it around. Now... For fuck's sake, give I'm, me the controller. No, I'm trying to make a point what are you here. Trying to, okay. Give me the want controller. Me to like slowly what I go, did okay. was I was talking to her, and I pushed the camera over here okay. so I could look around, and I see this guy yeah, back there. Guy back now, there. if you're new to this game, you just think, there's the next guy I have to talk to. But uh -huh. if you played Dark Souls 1, you're like, Lady. holy fucking shit, it's Andre from Dark Souls 1! Yes. Ah! I mean, same with the, the dude sitting in there. That's the same guy from the every... Crest, yeah, but Chris Fallen Warrior's Warrior. in every game. Yeah. So that's like, as a fan of the franchise, you expect him. But you don't expect Andre, because yeah. he hasn't been in any other games. So for me, it was that moment where I'm talking to the, the Firekeeper. You know, I've been naturally led in this visual line where I keep seeing the next person. Yeah. And the next person is fucking Andre. And I'm like <laughs> losing my shit. And now here's the funny thing. Go back to that same spot where you were talking to her and turn the camera around again. And tell me who you can't see from this position. The woman in the chair, yeah. Yes, the woman in the chair. She surprises you when you start walking down the hallway. The woman in the chair, 
who is one of the old ladies from the start of Dark Souls 2. Is she? That what she is? She looks just like the old ladies from I the start of Dark Souls 2. I never gathered that because those ladies were so dumb that right. I didn't care. Right, and that's what <laughs> Vadi said it was, he called her the old lady from Dark Souls 2, so that's what put it in my head. But, like, so I saw that, and I was like, what they're doing is they're leading you, like, Andre is the fan service pop moment. Yeah. Dark Souls 2 is kind of hidden away. <laughs> it's still relevant, but it's kind of hidden away. symbolism and NPC placement. Huh? There's, there's a lot of it throughout this game where there's references to, to the first game yeah. are like huge epic moments in yeah. this game. References to Dark Souls 2 are just kind of there yeah. if you happen to notice They're subtle. Them. They never draw there's attention like, to it. There's like a few dead NPCs and laying around and, and armor stuff, sets. Yeah. That, like little things that hint to Dark Souls 2. But the Dark Souls 1 references are like big and in your face and these huge <laughs> moments of pop throughout the game. Yeah. You know? And I think that's totally deliberate. I think oh, they, sure. they, you know, they wanted to acknowledge Dark Souls 2. But you not they knew that nobody cared about it. They yeah. knew that it wasn't the game people were going to get nostalgic for. <laughs> they weren't going to put a fucking area from Dark Souls 2 and you were going to go, Oh, man, this is the place from Dark Souls 2, you know? Yeah, you go, uh, uh, Right. No. <laughs> so they, they were very clever about that. Um, Which they didn't put a place from Dark Souls 2. Uh, right, but it's like... The Dragon, Dragon Roost Island. Which is the coolest place in Dark Souls 2, and they changed it, uh, you know, enough that it's not exactly the same. Yeah. But it's totally the coolest place in Dark Souls 2. It's alright. Like, visually, yeah, it was by far the cool. coolest place. I think I like the, the sort of lake place where you're walking through the, the water. That place is pretty cool, too. Um... But that is like a terrible level. Yeah, like, it's like all of the coolest looking places in Dark Souls Two are like the worst areas because they're just like hallways, right? Where it's like clearly the concept art for this was really good and it just got completely lost in developing the game. But anyway, yeah. So, so like my my first impression of this game is that it's easy. Yeah. Um, I had a much easier time with it than I did any of the others, and like. When I, when I said this, you know, I've said this online a few times, one of the arguments I've gotten, someone was like, well, aren't you just better at the games now? And I'm like, yeah, but if I replayed Bloodborne right now, I would <laughs> still have a harder time uh, than I did playing this game for the first time. You yeah. know, like, this game is just, it just is a lot easier. But what me and you have discovered is that this may be because of the way we all played. Because we all played strength builds. Yeah. Now, the strategy that I've used in every Souls Shit. game... Because pretty much what got me to finally play the Souls games, for anyone who hasn't been keeping track, if you missed the end of the Bloodborne Let's Play, where I suddenly had played through Bloodborne, yeah. surprising everyone, because I, I hadn't Shit. beaten any of the Souls games before. Um, at the end of the Bloodborne Let's Play, I finally beat that game, and then like a week, within the next week, I beat uh, Dark Souls and Demon Souls. Yeah. So I, I played all three of them. Absolutely love them. Motherfucker. And what finally got me through them was that I figured out I could, like, I, I learned the mechanics, I learned what you have to do to be good at these games, you know, because uh -huh. I, for, forever I hadn't really understood uh, how to do, like, stat management, how to level up your weapons, like, regularly and stuff like that. So, in Bloodborne, I had a strength weapon, and I had learned that if you level your vitality or your uh, vigor a lot, in that yeah. game it's vitality, but in this game it's vigor, um, if you level your health, consistently, then enemies won't be able to do much damage to you. I don't... Oh my god, I don't think yeah, I ever got yeah, that. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I don't think I knew about that. I forgot that was the way up there until I noticed it just now. Um, anyway. Yeah, like, I learned that if you have a high vitality, it's a lot harder for you to get killed. So, it's a good idea to upgrade that. Yes. If you have a ton of strength, then you can wield really big fuck-off weapons that kill most enemies in one hit. Yeah, or stagger them very easily. Right. So I decided to put all my stats into health and strength, and that worked out really well in all three games. I, uh -huh. I did really well. But in all of them, I had to grind. Yes. In all three games, I had had to, like, take some time, fucking kill all the enemies in an area twice, you know, get all the souls I possibly could before moving on to the next place. And uh, in this game, I did not have to do that. No <laughs> grinding was required. I played through just normally constantly leveled health and strength it's just really Shit. easy to level up in this game because you get like lots of souls from yeah. a pretty early point and there's an npc that gives you a bunch of free level ups. yeah there's an npc he'll give you five free level ups there's like there's just so much ease in leveling up and the funny thing is though that because uh our friend endless jess has a let's play show called the blue glow 
And he's been playing through Dark Souls 3 on there. Yeah. And, uh, he, you know, I know he's beaten the game, but he's his videos are currently up through, like, Irithyll. And, like, which is, like, more than halfway. Uh-huh. His health bar is not even as long as ours is right now. <laughs> He's towards the end of the game, and his health bar is less long than ours is after one minute. <laughs> like, yeah. like if, as soon as we started. Because we put all that right right, right into health. And in this game, every level up to your health is like a huge yeah, amount of screen space. it gives you a significant space. amount. Yeah. So, like... It's pretty easy to have a giant health bar, and if you consistently level your strength and carry a big weapon, you'll kill everything in one hit. I'm gonna mm, kill that. I'm minute. not even gonna bother. Why? It gives me an X. I'm not gonna use it. Oh. Um, <laughs> I've done this so many times now. <laughs> so yeah, like the. Um, why are you just? I'm you waiting for that guy to walk out. Completely fried my brain by standing here. <laughs> that I don't think he dude starts walking to the to the courtyard. Um, I'm not gonna fight that fucker. Yeah, this dude. One of the, my favorite things about this level is that you can kind of stealth it. Yeah. There's a bunch of like big heavy dudes walking around. That dude will super fuck tough. me up, and I hate fighting it. And uh, but they they all walk on like specific paths. So if you yeah. know their paths, then you can like stealth your way past them. This is a really fucking cool level. I know you don't like it that much because you played through it. Five I mean, times. it's it's still awesome because it's really well structured and like right, just generally cool. But, uh, yeah, I, I, that aspect of it, that there's, like, two different... I feel like there's an easy and hard mode yeah. to this level built in, where it's, like, that's, depending again, on who you decide to fight. That's, again, teaching you mechanics in the beginning of the game, which right. is that there's tough enemies and you don't have to fight them, you know? Yeah, You can find a way around, around it. And then there's, there's multiple ways around every obstacle where, like, that path I took was the secret path and not the normal path. Right. Yeah, where you jump through that uh, yeah, dragon stuff like the dragon the will door. kill enemies for you and stuff like that. Like, there's yeah. all sorts of mechanics going on you're learning it all in the first area right um so anyway okay, yeah I, don't want to do that. I leveled nothing but health and strength and i was like way overpowered through the whole game like nothing posed much of a threat to me never had a hard time but then i would talk online to people who were saying that they were having a harder time with this game or that it was just as hard as the other games and i was like how is that possible <laughs> then i realized it's because most people don't do strength builds. Most yeah. people don't put it all into health. Most people don't put it all into the same thing. I feel like most people you probably know. do strength builds. They're just not doing it right. No, like Jesse, for instance, had put almost all of his levels into vitality, which lets you uh, yeah. increases your carrying weight and dexterity because there were certain weapons and armor he wanted to use. And so he put everything into what would let him use those weapons and armor. So as a result, his health bar was fucking minuscule, and he oh. could get one hit killed by a lot of, uh, like, bigger enemies and bosses and stuff, um, whereas I could get hit five fucking times by that yeah. same attack and not get <laughs> killed, you know? So, um, but, you know, he counterbalanced that by doing a lot of summoning, whereas I didn't do any summoning, because I never do summoning in Souls. I never play online. Yeah. So, um... That's another thing. If you're having a hard time, summon some buddies. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, it, it was just really interesting that, that we all had a pretty easy time, but we also all played pretty similar yeah. strength and I'm vitality. I'm amazed that all builds. of us played strength builds. And then once, uh, Shade played through as a dexterity build, and he said it starts off really hard, but then it gets really easy as it goes. Yeah. Because you just eventually get overpowered. Um, and then you tried to play dex, and you didn't really have a fun time with it. I mean, because I didn't get very far, but it's like, it sucks starting off and right. you're just weak as hell. I just, like, I find it most satisfying to kill enemies in one hit. I just really yeah. love that feeling of running up to a guy exactly. and smacking him Feels and he badass. just dies. <laughs> and I, I, like, it's it's almost hilarious to me. Like, it's so, it's got, like, a comedic timing to it to run up to a guy and just smack him and they're dead, you know? Uh. Uh, so I love using just a giant fucking axe, up upgraded all the way, you know? And just smacking enemies in one hit, and, and it's like super the, hilarious. I like the limitation of one hit, and then I have to, you need to shot move and, arrow. And, and dodge out and stuff like that. Told you. It's just fun to me that I I have to know exactly you know the one hit I can get in, and then I need to mash roll to get away. Right. To avoid that attack. Yeah. It's the blast. So, anyways, we'll talk more about Dark Souls three next time on Digi Bros. We're in a pretty good rhythm. All We're right. saying a lot more than we did last yeah, time we much tried better. this. Did we even mention that we fucked it up before? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Digibros, everybody. Welcome back. Victor's unlocking a little shortcut here. 
Yeah, to man. To make it easier to get back to the bonfire when we fight the boss. I would love to see, like, a map of this level to see where everything interconnects, because it feels like you went so long and then you're right back at the beginning. Classic, yeah. awesome Dark Souls level design. Yep. Dark Souls is all about cyclical levels. It's yeah, vertical the... levels, man. Everything's yes. vertical. This game is definitely, like, almost more vertical than Bloodborne, where you, you pretty much go down the entire time, and you never really go back up until the end. Yeah. Um, You're always moving deeper into the abyss. Yeah. What the fuck was I saying? Oh, All right, we started a new episode. That's right. So I wanted to tell this epic story that I told in the last one. Uh, last attempt we made at this. Yeah. But we failed. But I started it off with this story <laughs> last time. Which is of the epic betrayal that oh, we yeah. suffered <laughs> at the hands of our friend Donson. Yes. This fat son of a bitch. So, him being fat is not relevant to the story. I just... Fuck him. <laughs> so, uh... Wow! The <laughs> hate is real! I was not that offended. I was massively offended. So, this game has a fucked up release. Right? Yeah. Every From Software game tends to have a fucked up release. The Dark Souls PC release was fucked up. Uh, the Bloodborne release had shitty load times. The Dark Souls 3 release has been fucked up on multiple levels. The PC version is still fucked up, for Shit. reasons we'll talk about later. Um, but they, they fucked up by... They released it three weeks earlier in Japan than oh. they did in other places. And, like, everywhere had, like, different release dates. It was super annoying, right? And so people start talking about the game. Of course, like, a bunch of Let's Players and shit are buying the Japanese version. Then they started giving people, like, review copies and yeah. stuff. So we started getting, like, some of the big uh, YouTubers and shit already had the game. They're putting out, like, promo videos for it and shit in the lead-up to this game coming out. Which, if you're someone who's trying not to be spoiled for what's in the game, is massively annoying. <laughs> now, I am a... I don't care about spoilers normally. I'm not a spoiler guy. People know this about me. I'll argue that spoilers aren't a big deal. But, in the case of the Souls games, I've been spoiled for all of them so thoroughly before playing them yes. that I've never had that experience of just, like, not knowing what's going to happen. You know? You These games down. are full of traps. They're full of, like, surprising moments and stuff. Stuff that's meant to make you go, like, oh, whoa! Shit. And, um... Now, inherently, I've been... Well, okay, let me talk... Stop... Stop for a second so we can check out that this boss fight oh, is about man. to happen. Ooh, he's Give a little bit of dramatic of weight to it. Um, Who the fuck is he coming out of? Jesus. He's just like a frost man. He comes out of the frost. It is interesting to think of this guy as a humanoid because he's he's very animalistic. Well, they call him the dog Yeah. at one point. so. But he is a dude in armor. He has Assumably. hands. Maybe he's a monkey. He's a gorilla man. He's a dog man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he's supposed to be a guard Kinda dog creepy. for the city. Or, I guess, to not let anything out or in. He's just a big not old man. Clear. His chest got too heavy and he can't support <laughs> it with his legs anymore. Yeah. So, anyways, this guy's pretty easy, so it won't be too much of a challenge, I assume. Don't jinx it. Um... What was the fuck was I saying? Yeah, so the Dark Souls games are, are you know, I, I'm kind of inherently spoiled to all of them just by knowing the mechanics. Yeah. Because a huge part of what made Demon Souls and Dark Souls so frightening for you guys when you played them yeah. was that you didn't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah. You like, never played anything like it before, so it's right. totally different. There's never really a game series with with this set of mechanics, you know, and an RP, an action RPG where R1 is attack. You know, already. Oh, God. Totally weird. <laughs> You know, yeah. never Just been even a thing thinking before. About that, yeah. Right. We weren't even used to that kind of game at all. No, there, there, it's not a kind of game. Yeah. There was no such thing as like a strafing R2 attacking action RPG. It's totally I wasn't even weird. used to games where you lock on, you know? Right. Like, so, Dark Souls was a really new kind of game, and aside from like learning the controls and everything being weird, there's also so much stuff to know about like. How to, the biggest thing is how to upgrade weapons. Yeah. That's the number one thing that nobody really understood well enough 
and wasn't necessarily telegraphed well enough in the early games and made them really fucking hard because if you upgrade your weapons regularly it makes yeah. a universe of difference <laughs> and if you know what weapons to use like which ones fit your build and stuff like that and you have to pay attention to those numbers which you know right. as, as a kid I, I i didn't care about those fucking numbers uh, define like, kid. I didn't 2009 Thir i was like 13 or 14. holy I think shit I was 14. were you yeah was you in souls? seven years ago how old are you now 23 no, that would be like 16. Yeah, I that it makes a lot more longer sense. Longer ago than that, either no, way. No, it was in this house when when uh, Demon Souls. No, came that was out. in the last house, dude. 2009, dude. Dude, it was fucking not in this fucking house. I remember. It was it was from the last house into this house. I'll, you dude, can, I, I swear to fucking you, God. You want me to open? I, look, I I can open up the internet right I know now. This, I Let's know it was out. in the last house. Demon Souls. We moved into this house in July of 2009. Demon Souls is a 2009 action RPG, North American release, October 6th. The fuck? Oh yeah, dude, that's bullshit, dude. I Are you sure we fucking moved shit, into this dude? house in 2009, not 2000? Yes, you motherfucker. July, because we moved in right after I graduated high school, so it was fucking July it 2009. Feels... No, I am. I remember the day this game came out. I know exactly. I fucking what remember it was the first like. time we played it. Does not came over? Dude, you might have watched trailers for it in the last yeah, house because Don San yeah. was showing us trailers for it, like a or Whatever, like footage man. My from life the Japanese is a fucking version. Lie. Dude, you don't don't doubt my fucking memory. My mind is a steel trap. All right. Nope. That's uh everything I know about my life is a lie. Anyways, so yeah. what you're fucking talking about. The dude. game came out right after I graduated high school. Yeah, that's... which means you were 16. Whatever, man. So, anyways, <laughs> the first time through, you don't know shit. You don't know anything about what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. Uh, and it makes the game hard as fuck. And the first time you played through Demon's Souls, it was like fucking 70 hours or something like that, right? Yeah. It was like an insanely long um, <laughs> time that it took to beat. And then the first time you played Dark Souls, it was like 60 hours. Yes. So it's still pretty fucking long. You had times where you just stopped playing for yeah. months because you got <laughs> stuck on the Abyss. The Four Kings. Oh, well, the Four Kings. Yeah. They were fucking ridiculous. So... So yeah, the, the, the games were hard because you didn't know exactly what you were doing. Yeah. Now, you know, Shade and Donson could beat Dark Souls 1 in three hours. Uh -huh. it, it's, it's fucking easy. You know, like, once you know what you're doing, it's not a hard game. And there's a certain level, like, that level that you guys had with the first games, I will never be able to get because I know the mechanics. Yeah. It'll never be as hard as it was for you. It was a revolution, where, like, man. You know, like, I hadn't seen... As nearly as much of Demon Souls as I had of the other game. Oh shit, I'm heavy now. I had seen enough to, like, I knew the traps and stuff for the most part. Yeah. It was a lot harder for me to fall for stuff, but also because I knew the mechanics, I had way more health, so it was a lot easier for me to survive the traps I did fall into. And like, you know, it only took me like 22 hours to beat Demon Souls, uh, mm -hmm. my first time ever through. You know. Um, even with all the stuff I didn't know. Because I knew to play cautiously, and I knew to, you know, play a certain way. Yeah. So, I knew I could never get a pure experience with this game. But, I at least wanted, for once, to play through the game and for everything to be new. Yes. For it not to be, I've watched a Let's Play of it, or I've seen everybody else play it, I've watched Victor and Jade, and, you know, every other time with these games, we usually have to sort of wait in line. Uh -huh. Like, with Bloodborne, Donsan was the only one who had a PS4 when it came out. Yes. So it was like, he played through it, then you, then Shade, you know. So it was like, everyone kind of had some familiarity by the time you end up playing it. Mm -hmm. With this game, it was on PC and PS4. I have a PS4 now, so I could play my own copy. Yeah. You and Shade could play your own copies on PC. So we could all play this at once. We all experienced it at the same time, right? That's the that's the beautiful dream we have. Yes. We're all going to play it at the same time and experience <laughs> it all at once, right? Now, Donsan, the son of a bitch. Look at that. Wow. Donsan has had times... Just in, wow. See, look, boom. You see that up to the left? That's the dragon area, yeah. the secret dragon area. You can see area. everything. You can see everything and from then this view. that's the Cathedral of the Deep on the wow. right. It's badass now that uh, we know what everything is. I think that's... See it. Is that Irithyll up in the mountains back there? There's a the secret city down that there Irithyll? in the clouds. Okay, that's Irithyll then. Wow. And then uh, what's over? Where's the, the dragon place? Dragon Roost Islands over there. Where's the Farren Woods? The I mean, Farren's Keep. There's fucking woods everywhere. It's somewhere in there. Huh. Mm, I'm not entirely sure where you fight Pretty the bad Abyss ass. Watchers. Well, I guess it would be over to the left because that leads out to the city. 
I mean, that looks like a swamp. The swamp down there. That could be it. That yeah. could be where Farron's Keep is. Hmm. That's. I never realized that Irithyll is like shrouded in clouds, yeah. like to hide it. It's That's cool. Great. I never sat here and, and looked and recognized all the places I've been. Oh, th there's the three lights that you use. Oh, to, so that you swamp. put out yeah, to get yeah, into yeah. Farron's Keep. Oh, so that's wow! It you there. can actually see the three. I want if we come shit, back here dude. later, those will be out, right? Yeah, because we have to awesome. put those out. Holy fuck! This that game is, is fucking, amazing. This game is badass. No one knows what we're talking about badass if they haven't played yeah, this game before. Yeah, but you before. will later, which is but, cool. Man, so by the end of the game, we'll have been to all of these. Cool we will places. have to come back here fuck to look yeah. at this again. What's that off in the way distance? Eh, whatever. I don't, know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So, anyways, what I was saying, what was I saying? Don San, this dude is known at times, to if there's a game he wants that comes out in Japan first, he'll buy it, the Japanese version yes. because he can pretty much read Japanese. He can understand it more or less. So it's not too much of a, a hard time for him, right? But we were, like, trying to convince him not to do that with Dark Souls 3 because we were like, we'll all play through it at once. We'll see who can beat it fastest because that, yeah. that was the other big thing for me is, you know, I've never beaten one of these in, in tandem with everybody, right? Yeah. So I'm like... Dansan's got... He's hes amazing at these games. So no matter what, he's going to beat it the fastest. But he has work. So what if I could beat it before <laughs> him because he's going to be working and I don't have to work, you yes. know? Shade has school. you have You've got your film shit going on, you know? So I'm like, what if I can beat this game first? The guy who, who came in late, who has never played all the other games until oh, recently, man. I'm going to be the first one to beat Dark Souls 3, right? This is my fantasy that I'm that I've got in my head. And I just really wanted to race everybody. I wanted to see how it would go, have us all discuss it at the same time, you know. Look at all those fucking dead, or all those birds this above this place. Dude, I don't think I realized view. how many birds were up there. Everything looks cool. Light the bonfire. Like the city back there. Yeah, we just came from that enormous fucking cliffside. Light cliff the bonfire! Side. Oh yeah, you did it, bro! Uh, so, go over there and get that thing. It's over there. I don't know, some item. But anyways... Yeah, yeah, I've got this whole fantasy about how we're all going to play Dark Souls 3. Yeah. And we start all, like, in order for this to happen, we're all, like, really trying to, like, tie it ourselves over and avoid all the spoilers and everything. Like, you know, all these videos start coming out because of the weird release dates and, and shit and all these people getting review copies. So you got fucking Vadi Vidya, the big Souls guy, putting out these, like, fucking videos of the early areas and we're all trying to avoid them. Fucking Victor, of course... <laughs> just has to click on one of the videos. And I just, was like, maybe just, I'll just, just get a, I'll just get a taste. I'll just get just a get taste of what it's gonna be like. And ends up spoiling himself for something huge. And is like immediately <laughs> pissed, like super it wasn't pissed. That huge. It was kind of huge because we didn't know there was yeah. gonna be characters from the first yeah, game in this game. Characters. So, uh, by the way, spoilers like crazy in these videos. If that wasn't clear, we're gonna spoil things even before they happen because yes. assumably you don't care if you're watching these videos. <laughs> But, um, you know, Victor, Victor's, the way that you said it, because I figured out it was a character from the first game, because you said that you got spoiled for something really big, and yeah. I was like, well, there's nothing you would know was a big deal unless it was, like, like instantly, yeah. unless it was something from the first game. So I knew you'd seen a character from the first game, but I didn't know who it was, you know? And it's, but it's great, because, because I didn't know the spoiler... I thought, when I got to the, the, the first place, I thought it was Andre. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's Andre. And then it turns out it's fucking Siegmeier of Katarina shows up later. And the moment it happens, which is actually not him. It's actually a, 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 another person of his clan named Siegward. Yeah. But, like, I didn't know. So when he showed up, I was like, oh, it's him. There you he know. is. There he is. Boom. So, yeah. Like, bah. so we're all, like, avoiding spoilers, not looking at any of the hype and stuff, fucking unsubscribing Game Grumps finally, because they started making Dark Souls 3 videos, we were pissed off, you know, uh, that's more me and my, me and my friends, my online friends did yeah. that, uh, because we were, we were all getting sick of Game Grumps anyways, but when they did that, it was like, okay, that's the last straw, we're done, you know, oh. um, did we already pass where we were in our last, uh, recording session? Uh, area-wise, yeah. I think so. I think we were over there when we saw... We, we had not fought Vort yet, I think. I see. Oh, yeah. I don't know well, why. I don't know if we now died or something. We, uh, I mean, we're at, like, the same timestamp we were We're fucking at. here. This place is cool. 
But um, yeah, this is the that. fucking undead settlement. Look that's that. where oh, we're gonna burns. end up. Oh, that's that dude. Oh, shooting you can see. I did not arrows. know you can see that from here. Oh my god! Holy shit! That's fucking awesome. I had awesome. no idea. How are we finding so many skybox I, things now? I am so happy. <laughs> like we're just being more observant of the sky. I don't know. Yeah, because the first time I played, I'd stop everywhere and like look around. I guess because like, yeah, we didn't cool. know what that. Like you wouldn't have thought about that. You know, like that there's a guy up there shooting arrows. I would have. You know, at least recognized there was a dude there. I didn't even know there was a dude there. That's amazing. Hits, yeah, that guy will be relevant. He's that guy can be relevant wow. throughout the game. Uh, yeah, He's depending on how you boy. deal with him, because he can see over like so, yeah, this is, three entire huge that's levels. That, that castle you end up like cool. Yeah, this game's cool. This game's fucking amazing. So, anyways, we're we we got all this build up, and we start tidying ourselves over with other games, right? Yeah. So Shade and his girlfriend had started playing Black Desert, which just came out, which I've been looking forward to that game. So I wanted to play it. So I got Black Desert, and so did Don San. You didn't end up getting it. Yes. But, like, we didn't end up playing it, right? Like, <laughs> Shade and his girlfriend ended up playing other shit. Don San never really got around to it. And I, in preparation for Dark Souls 3 coming out, I decided to try to get all my work for the month of April done in the first, like, week of April. So that when this game came out... I never noticed sitting in that chair. That yeah, I there's, a bunch, there's a bunch of tree men Whoa. sitting in chairs throughout this area. I figured that out more recently. But, um, because this whole place is, like under the watch of that tree thing that you fight yeah. later. Um, Shit. There's there's definitely some kind of, like, really deep story going on in this village that I yeah. have, have only barely pieced together, but that tree thing It would is, be cool to know the context, because I'm sure yeah. it's badass. Because uh, like, you can't join like, the mountain makers they're, they're kind if you... Of, they're worshipping this tree, I never noticed. Yeah, if you kill the uh, tree, huh. then you can't join the mountain makers and The covering. fucking corpses, that looks like some berserk shit right there. The fucking mummy corpses. Oh, there are hanging corpses hanging from the tree. That's I didn't even badass. notice. I should kill these dudes. I never killed them all before because why? <laughs> They're easy. I didn't know. I was just like, oh, that's a horde of dudes. I'm not gonna bother. It's just a. Uh, Ironically, when I was just talking this about is, fighting this is this is the the area people make oh, fun of on. for literally being bloodborne. Yes, <laughs> because just a bunch of villagers around fires. Um. So anyway, finishing off this fucking story. God damn it. We're playing these other games, you know, I decide to, to beat, you know, or to uh, to get all my fucking work done before this game comes out. So I don't end up playing Black Desert. Donson and Shade both get Salt and Sanctuary and play through that because it's a lot like Souls. And then they both, Donson and Shade, like, teamed up oh. <laughs> and uh, beat, Dar they, they, like, raced each other through Dark yes. Souls 1 and 2, you know, in the, in the preparation for this game. Both of them realizing just how much they hate Dark Souls 2 now. Yeah. Uh, like, how do I get over those barrels? Because I can just blow those up, too. Yeah, you, you can just do it while you're down there. Yeah, but it'll be badass if I, like, stealth around and blow shit up. Be I'm so that. happy I noticed those and did that because that's one of those things that'll be a, a, I did that once experience, you know? Right. That's badass. Um, I love Dark Souls. So anyways... Those guys played through all these other games, trying to, like, you know, hold themselves over for this one. And then we find out, like, two days before this game comes out, that Donsan, all along, had bought the Japanese version what and had beaten it, like, three times before Jesus. this game came out in the U.S. He bought it the day it came out. Didn't tell anybody. He 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 was specifically hiding it from the three of us, the yes. three brothers. He was specifically hiding us it from us because he knew we'd be pissed off, especially me. And uh, Shade found out because they're in this. There's this huge group chat that most of our friends are in, and Shade's in there. And uh, Donson said, "The Collinses never read back through the chat, so I'll just tell you guys." I've got I've been playing Dark Souls 3 this whole time. And of course Shade did read back through the chat yes. and went, "Oh, never read back through the chat, do I?" <laughs> so we found Very out. Clean. So this guy had gone to such lengths to hide this betrayal, playing all these other games, playing Salt and Sanctuary and all this other shit. And all this time, oh. he'd already beaten Dark Souls 3. He had like 70 hours on his main profile, yeah. you know. Oh, snap, what's this? Cool. So, yeah. Huge betrayal, pissed me off to no end. Um, but then we all we all got it and we played through it. Oh, sh I didn't notice that dude was there. This is gonna be a fucking gauntlet. Oh, you didn't notice the fat guy? No, I didn't. Oh the fat shit, lady rather. It's not that bad. Just avoid those uh those. The bugs fat things. ladies are tough. Oh, we can stay away from that. Oh. They, they can put like I don't know if. She does it, or if it's other enemies, but there's some enemies that can put a curse on you that makes it so you can't, uh, oh, heal. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Yeah, the bugs do Yeah, those are later in the game. Um. 
God, I hate these fucking fat ladies so much. This one's not that bad. They're just but... like the the things from Demon Souls too. Uh, yeah, they remind me of the, but those guys were like pyromancers. These yeah. ladies have like a but whole it's bunch still, of fucked like, up. They look bag. almost the same. It's which really I thought was cool. This, this one's not so bad because she mostly uses spells. But when they start using that fucking mace that she has, yeah. that thing she can do like consecutive attacks with it forever. Like she has no stamina Fuck. bar practically. And so she and it has a fucking huge reach. So getting away from her is a huge pain in the ass. If you fight one of them in like a close quarters match, it's it's a they fucking nightmare. Have a ton of health, man. They're just one of the toughest enemies in the game. Uh, just there are some tough basic enemies in this game. Like, I would say they're probably the worst. Because a lot of them just attack fast as fuck. No! <laughs> why did you... Why the firebombs? Because I don't have any Estus that I'm trying to kill it. You're not doing shit with those. Dude, I'm, it just has a lot of health. Fuck, dude. Just get in there and fuck them up. There you Boom! Go. Barely go holding back and on heal to anyways, life. Jesus. Well, I would just keep going through the area or something. Oh, Into wow. the Where's fire! The uh... Oh, cool. That's a shard. I'm not sure. God, did I not even get that the first time? Holy hell. Yeah, those are pretty important. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that because of. I shall return from yeah. out of the fire! I don't think I went this way either. Holy shit. Oh, that's, you just, you can't open from this side. Oh, wait. Oh. Maybe it's only open from this side. Uh, you you would have ended up here from going the other yeah, way. Yeah, I think I've been here before. Uh, look out for that living yeah. cage full of bodies. Hold on. Is this there's a, Wait, there's a thing attached to one of those, uh... Oh, yeah, if you, I get in, this room has, uh... Yeah, you I have to fall in into there from that room you were just in. Yeah. Knock those bodies down, though. They got a thing on them. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. Uh. Next time on Digi Bros. Sweet, I got a pee. Dude. More Digi Bros. Welcome back to Digi Bros. Schmoopy, poopy, poopy, poo. Low on health in a dangerous place. No, dog, I got this. No! Wow, the fall damage! I could have drank oh, from the pot! That would have been a heal right there. Yep. God damn it. Fucking All the way in there. amazing. All the way into that, that fucking harsh territory. So, uh... Yeah, we were we, we talked about an, an epic betrayal that befell yeah. us in the last episode. Now we got to talk about how this game betrayed us. This game, Say what? in a way, this game is amazing. Mm -hmm. In another way, this game's a giant piece of shit. On, really? On the PC. Oh yes. Doesn't work. <laughs> so it crashes. So the game. The, here's the thing. We were talking about how fucked up the release of this game is, right? Yes. So it was bad enough. Bad enough already. That it came out in Japan first and all that other shit and there was all these pre-release stuff and stuff like that. But here's what pissed me off the most. For whatever reason, this game released... Because we, we all knew this game was coming out on, I believe it was the 11th, right? Oh. Uh. And we were all planning for that and everything. But what was really happening was it was... You could, you could pre-download the game on Steam and it would become available at 6 p.m. on the 11th. Yeah. Or, if you wanted the PS4 version... That wasn't coming out till the 12th, and it mm -hmm. wouldn't be sold in stores until the 12th, right? Now, there was a midnight release in our town, but that's a six-hour difference. Six hours in a day that all I had planned was to play Dark Souls, right? Yeah. So I'm like, for fuck's sake, I just, I just, I, I, I wanted the game so bad. Now, here's the thing. Uh, PC version, I figured, is going to have performance issues. Yeah. It always does. You know, my PC is pretty good. It can handle most games, but a game that ha that's not well optimized, it's not going to be able to run well on my computer. You oh. know, um, Shade's computer has been able to just tank the game and have no problems. I fucking a... played the new Tomb Raider, which is probably a lot more demanding than this game was. Right, but because the game's not well optimized, yes. it runs like fucking shit. <laughs> and Shade's got such a nice graphics card, it doesn't matter. His yes. computer had no problems with the game because he has like a real, you know, real fancy equipment. But I don't have that fancy of equipment, you know. So, I had a feeling I should get this on PS4. Now, the PC version has 60 frames per second, which is nice. Not a big deal to me. I don't care that much. Yeah. I think that 60 frames looks different. I don't necessarily think I think it looks better, uh -huh. you know. Like, it's, it's just a, it's a different style. Yeah. But like... To me, this style feels more like real in a way. 
Like, I get why that when those people who made The Order 1886, they were trying to say that it was more cinematic to have it at 30 frames. I agree yeah. that it's more cinematic. Well, yeah, because movies <laughs> right. go at that frame rate. Well, because when you try to do movies at high frame rate, they look fucking weird. Because uh-huh. it looks too real and it's jarring. Yeah. And, like, I've seen this game at 60 frames, and it's really cool looking, but it's also really weird and jarring. Because it, like, really makes you feel like you're in a video game. You uh-huh. know, like, it's 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 too real. It's It's... It's, it's like Uncanny Valley to me. <laughs> but, um, but you know, maybe that's just me. And, uh... I always liked that with the first Dark Souls, though, with the DS fix in the 60 frames. Yeah. It was, like, super cool. I liked it in Dark Souls 1 more than in this game. But, like, I, I don't know. It, it, again, I would take it either way. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying I prefer it this way. Yeah. It's just that either one... It's a difference in art style to me. It's more so than a different, like a like an objectively better. Yeah. Because that's the thing. People who who are really all about sixty frames will always say it's objectively better because it's more <laughs> frames. And I'm no. like, well, I don't know. I think there's something to be said about the artistic merit of your game running a certain speed. Now, if you're playing like a game like this, a lot of the reason people say that you need the higher frame rate is because it's very precision based. Like, yeah. in order to make decisions on the fly and and you know tell what you're doing, then it, it can be better to have sixty frames. But, uh, I don't know. Souls games are pretty slow. I don't think it makes a huge difference uh-huh. between 30 and 60. It's a barely perceptible number of frames. Now, if this <laughs> game had frame rate drops, that would be a problem. Yes. You know. But, um, I haven't experienced much of that. I, I remember experiencing some, like, when I first was playing the first level. But I haven't seen any since, you know. Yeah. So, I, I guess, I don't know why. It, it only happened the one time. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of shit going on in the first level, right? So, but we didn't have it this time. There was no frame rate drops while you were playing yeah. through just now. So there was when know. I was standing on one thing and looking at that group of dudes. Like you could see in the distance, they were doing that like low frame rate. Oh yeah, uh, or they hadn't loaded in all the way. Yeah, distant thing. Low poly look. I never but, saw um, that playing on PC, but but yeah. So I figured PS4 will be the better choice. Now the one big difference that it makes to play on PC is that uh, you can play online. And on PS4, you have to pay money to play online. Yes. <laughs> so that was the big like deciding factor for some of my friends. Personally, I never play online, so it wasn't a really big deal to me. I mean, I feel bad about losing out on a feature, but it's one I would practically never use. Yeah. You know, so I didn't feel it was too big a loss to have the game just well. run. So PC version, though, I'm like, the fact that it's six hours sooner... Is the is like the real deciding factor. Yeah. Because all I wanted was to play Dark Souls, and I didn't want it to be behind everybody else, you know. Now, so and it took me so long to make this decision that I only ended up buying it like two hours before it was going to be available. So, Victor and Shade are able to preload it faster, so they were getting in first no matter what. Yeah. Like it was taking me too long to download the game, but so I, I bought the PC version. I'm preloading it, you know. Shade and Victor are already in. They already started playing. And, uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I get in, I finally get it, right? It finishes downloading. Yeah. <clears throat> I get in the game, I'm playing it for about five minutes, and it crashes. Uh-huh. I reload it back up. Now, part of the problem here, uh, up until this game coming out, like, while I'm waiting for it to preload, while I'm waiting for 6 p.m. to come around, like, I'm, I'm having all these issues trying to get my PS4 controller to work. For whatever reason, my PS4 controller will not cooperate with my PC. Yeah. There's supposed to be stuff, there's programs you can use to make it work, there's all this stuff you can do that's supposed to work. You know, I've got Don San, our, our fucking tech guy, working on it, trying to figure this shit out. But for whatever, what the fuck was that rumbling sound? That was my phone. But where is your phone? It's right there. Okay. <laughs> um, don't, why would you put it right next to the microphone when it's rumbling? Dude, I don't, fucking, Jesus Christ, that was on the floor. I dropped it. <laughs> Good job. Fuck. So anyways, um, yeah, the, the PC version is coming out, and I'm trying to fucking solve this PS4 problem. It's like, the, like for whatever reason, my PS4 controller will just crash my computer. Yeah. Like, we can't figure it out. Like, Donson has no idea why it's happening. And this we is can't super cool, out, though, right? because this is the first time I've taken that path down here. Like, I've taken oh, really? that path back up before. That was my first... But that's the first time I've taken that way to get down here. I took that path down the first time, and then the mm-hmm. second time I went up the other way. That's crazy. Oh, I yeah. can't unlock that here, can I? Uh, try it. I don't know. Oh, I think I gotta go from the other oh, side. Oh, yeah, that's from where the rats are. Yeah. yeah, you have to go from the other side. That's crazy, man. I took um, a completely... You, there is, like, two or three ways you can get to here. Yes. Which is fucked. And it's a very that, open level. Um, 
Which is why this was the one area that the first time through I, like, really hadn't found anything here. Because yeah. I, I had taken one path and then I didn't go back because it was like I didn't I didn't have any trouble with it. So I didn't yeah. think I needed to go through again. So, like, this was the place when on New Game Plus that I, like, really explored down to the details. Like, trying to find everything oh. I'd missed before. Um, but anyways. So... You know, I'm struggling to get my PS4 controller to work. It's like a million degrees in my room. I'm like frustrated and pissed off. The game finally comes out. I play it for five minutes and oh, it crashes, fuck. right? Fuck. And. Oh no. You know. No, 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 no. Yeah, this bitch is hard. I didn't think she would just like pursue me so fast. Yep, that Fucking happened to hell. me as well. Um, so, uh, and I knew Don San was going to come over at some point, you know, to hang out and, and look at the. Holy look at shit. all. What watch us all play Fire the new crab. game. But, um. By the way, what are are you using the uh, claymore? Yeah. Did you pick that up? I, forget, I like wasn't paying attention when that happened. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, claymore's a badass. All right, you did it. You got her. We should go up to where she was. I think there's a titan yeah, shard there. Yeah, there's a thing in there. Um. Do -do -do. So yeah, this uh, you know, the game crashes after five minutes. I load it back up. Every five minutes, it's crashing. Finally, I get a crash that just like made it so the whole screen blacked out and I couldn't get anything to work and it crashed the whole fucking computer, right? So I'm like, what the fuck, right? Is yeah. this my fault? Is this the game's fault? I have no idea because the game just came out, right? So I start looking up, you know, like Reddit and shit and all these other places and this is turning out it's a persistent problem. Yeah. A lot of people are having this game crash on them. Goofy-ass solutions that people are <laughs> finding. For instance, play as the night class. Uh-huh. If you play as the night class, it doesn't crash as much. It's gotta be bullshit. <laughs> no, it was working for some people. Some uh -huh. people were having like constant crashes and then they well, switched then to night class. I should have fucking played as the night, man. And not having as many. Well, other people were saying it wasn't working. Yeah. You know, but for some people it was working. There were there was a good stretch of the game, and mostly in the beginning of the game and the end of the game is where it crashed for me. Like right. the the middle stretch, I didn't have many crashes. So like, so the game's crashing for everybody. I'm looking up all this info. There's all these fucking, already a bunch of Steam reviews that are just like, uh, don't buy this game. It doesn't work, you know? Yeah. So I immediately t just get a refund. I'm like, fuck it. You know, I, I, I submit a refund, got it approved, and I was like, I'm just going to get the PS4 version at the midnight release at GameStop. Mm -hmm. So I waited for midnight, drove up there with Donsan. There was only like four people at the midnight release, because, uh -huh. like, which is not surprising, because it's, it's fucking Dark Souls. Like, why would there... Why endurance? Endurance is worthless. Fuck off! I like endurance. Strength. <laughs> I need at least twenty endurance. It's it's worth it. I don't know why you guys all think endurance is worthless. It's great. Ah, I just don't think it's worth it <laughs> compared to everything else. I don't understand how, man. Uh, because if you're a strength build, then all you need is one hit. You only need to hit the enemy once and, and then roll you away. You need to roll away from their attacks. Yeah, it only takes like a third of your. Whatever, I'm doing do it my hit. way, man. I don't, you guys, I don't understand, man. Anyways, so I go to this midnight release, get the PS4 version, and now I'm in the money because I've got the one that doesn't crash. Yes. You've got the crashy McCrash version. Shades hasn't hasn't had any issues. Donson hasn't had any issues because they both have nice computers. Um, and, you know, I've talked to some people online who haven't had issues, but the consistent factor in all of them is they have nice graphics cards. You know, at least, at least... As far as I know, that's been the consistent yeah. factor. But there's plenty of people who have had this crashing problem. So, PC release fucking sucks. Maybe they'll patch it. And that's that's the thing. Like, everyone's like, well, they're, they're, eventually it'll be patched, right? But the thing is, it took like three weeks for the Bloodborne patch to come out that fixed the fucking yeah. load times and everything. I mean, they had announced when it was, they like, within a few days of the game coming out, they're like, we'll patch it this day. You yeah. know, so that was why I said I'm not gonna play it till the day it gets patched. Cause why would I play it beforehand? You yes. know, so like they haven't announced anything yet for PC though. So we we have no idea how long this will be a problem. Um, so I'm glad I have the PS4 version. Cause fuck it, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They make amazing games, but they don't know how the fuck to program them for some reason. Apparently, for PC at least. <laughs> I mean, this game has plenty of bugs and shit and, yeah. and little glitches and stuff, even in the PS4 version, but just nothing game-breaking, you know, nothing that's been, like, a a big deal. Shades had a few glitches where, like, he, he hasn't had any load, uh, bad loading, but when he first started the game, he said the frame rate was, like, abysmal. It was, like, chugging 
at times in like in places and then he has had like a lot of weird glitches where he died like by falling through the world and shit like that you know <laughs> i never really had any of those me neither but i, I just had crashes i'm not so surprised maybe that's that why i had maybe he gets those things instead of crashing right in any case uh yeah well, it's check a, out those stances, man. Cool. It's a shitty release. It's like Soul Calibur, man. But this is not Boom. surprising, because they've had shitty releases. Shaka. But well, that takes before. magic to use yeah. those attacks, huh? Yeah, that's what uh, the FP meter is for. Is uh, I didn't realize it worked arts. for just just those attacks though, too. Yes. So supposedly, if you start with that white branch, this guy doesn't shoot you. No, you've got it wrong. Well, you, you have to go talk to the guy with the white branch. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, No, maybe... he's not shooting me. Whoa, really? I started with the young white branch. He's not shooting me. That's why I did it, because I, I knew it would make this area way easier. Now I'm still kind of in Are the way. Are you sure the that that's what's happening here? Yeah, because otherwise he would be shooting me and yeah, not Yeah, you're them. right. Huh. He always focuses on, you, on can, you. You can make him not shoot at you. Yeah, but no, look. I mean, you can do that before you even come through here. You, you don't. Yeah, I, I went and did that first in my new game plus. Oh, right. yeah, if you went the other way, then you could go right. do that. But yeah, uh, I didn't know that if you just start with it, then That's he won't shoot great, you man. at all. That's cool. Fuck, yeah. There's three different areas in the game. They're all uh, these white trees, and he if you come near the white tree, he'll shoot Oh, you. now he's shooting me. I guess because all the enemies are dead. Uh, maybe you were wrong. Yeah, he's shooting you, dude. You gotta give it to him. <laughs> well, it still worked until all the enemies were dead, though. Yeah, but you can just pick... You just picked up three of the item you started with. So you could have no, just given only him if you No, I gave it to Look, him. I'm Victor. saying, if you start with that item, he won't shoot you at that part. Okay? <laughs> he just I know, did. I know he'll... But he didn't shoot me until all the enemies were dead. But he Which did shoot you. Which normally he targets you specifically only and not the enemies until, until, you've, until you go talk to him and then he'll shoot the enemies instead of you. That way, at least it, it gave me the enemies first. So it, it did made, something. It made it... Ever so slightly yes, easier. Yes, but it did something. I don't know if it did. I don't know if that's true of when you Because I this. just went through here, like, twice. Uh -huh. And it was a fucking pain in the ass. Because I didn't start with that. If you say so. It, I'm telling you, there was, a, there was a difference. Well, in any case, if you give him a branch, he won't shoot you anymore. Yeah. There's three different places in the game that have those white trees. And he'll shoot you at all of them. Unless you have given him a, a peace offering. And I've given him that in my other game. Yes. I have two, which is why I was saying that you you can just pick up a young white branch and give it to him. But um, what the fuck was I, I talking know. about? You fucking interrupted me with your like it was getting cool. way too like angry about because nothing. you're saying that I'm wrong. Because you're a fucking idiot in general. So like, uh, okay. there's a good chance you yeah, could be wrong. You, dude. I fucking learned it from watching body video. What are you? Why would I be I, wrong? He in that video because I knew that the reason I was aggressive with you is because I figured that you were quoting that video yeah. where he admits that he's not sure how it works and where Except I proved him wrong because he said in the video that if you just give him one that's not the one that you get at the start uh -huh. then it won't he, he'll still shoot you no but, but I gave him one that you don't yeah. get at the start and he stopped shooting me but he he did that for me too <laughs> right but that I just, just means Vadi was wrong he didn't know the thing right either way it That's still exactly helped, why like, I was giving you shit, cause you were you were phrasing it like you were quoting a video. So I had a feeling uh, that it was your untested either way, conclusion. We've now tested it and come to the conclusion that he won't attack you first I, if he, you start with that. Yeah, I guess or something. Possibly. I don't fucking know. But he was sure as fuck targeting me last time I went through there, and it sucked. Well, you didn't get half the items that were over there. I was open up the shortcut. Wait. Well, I mean, fuck it, dude. I don't care anymore. Now he's targeting me. There's no enemies to shoot at. Wait. Not gonna go fuck around for nothing. Anyway. Unless there's like an SS shard. Is there an SS shard? I have no recollection of what the fuck we were talking about uh, before we got into that argument. Beep, 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 Do you? Beep, beep. No. Think, oh, we were talking about the launch sucking for this game. Yeah. yeah. Launch sucked. Uh, I've been having a fun time on the PS4. And, you know, the here's the most important factor. Is that I, I fucking beat it. Yeah. I beat the game. <laughs> I beat it within two days of it coming out. All these other Souls games, you know, I've I've been this this fucking this huge fan of the Souls games for all this time. Yes. I mean, if you go back through my history of, of like my videos and stuff, just ask, ask the Davu. The Davu is the only person who's listened to all my old podcasts. 
But before I even made YouTube videos, like, or, I mean, not before I... Before the, uh, the Digibro channel started, then it was... I had a podcast that I had done, like, a few episodes of called Digibro Never Shuts Up. So we're talking yeah, yeah. late 2012. I had a whole podcast about how Dark Souls is the best fucking game ever. This is before Dark Souls 2 came out, you know. Yeah. So, so I've been proselytizing about the amazingness of Dark Souls for fucking years. But I'd never played through Dark Souls. Yes. Never beaten it. All these <laughs> years. Talking about how cool it is. Talking about how fucking Bloodborne like, came out and was like, oh my god, this game is my aesthetic. This is everything I want in a, in a video yes. game. But I didn't play it. You know? I then I played it. Shit. I thought it was amazing. Dark Souls 3 comes out. Most hype I've ever been about a video game coming out. Oh, shit. Whoa, what's possibly, this doing here? Possibly the most hype I've ever been about anything coming out yes. was Dark Souls 3. Like, because I don't, I don't get hype. The hype train, man. I'm not a hype guy. There you go. That was what you needed was those ashes. Because that's oh, for, uh, for ashes you give to the, uh, the oh, old yeah, lady the, and she gives you more items. Shops. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I've been this fucking champion of this game for so long, you gotta do a fucking jump. Wow, you did that. That was weird. <laughs> there was no build-up or anything. Great, you sorry. just, like, fucking hopped that. Um, yeah, so, never played these games within a year of them coming out, practically. Yeah. And then, with this one, got real hype. Played it the first day, and fucking beat it. You beat it, man. Dark Souls fucking three. Don't try to do that. I don't have any S's yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't um, gonna go right there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with myself. You know, I beat it right after Shade, like within like two hours of him. Uh, we both had the same total time on the game. It was like 18 hours, I think. Um, so yeah, it was pretty short compared to like. The other ones took me about 22 to 24 hours, and Bloodborne took me 30, but I did the DLC, yeah. uh, you know, along with the main game. With Dark Souls, I accidentally skipped the DLC, hilariously. So, uh, so it was just the main game. But this one was a lot shorter. I'm excited for whatever DLC they will put out, because yeah. I'm completely satisfied with this game as it is, so anything yeah. additional will be great. It'll just be, like, you know. topping it off with more badass shit. And I've never bought a DLC before. Never have done. Oh, uh, wow. Um, I've always wanted to buy the Mass Effect DLC, because I've heard all of it's amazing for 2 and 3. Just never got around to it, because I haven't played through them again. Uh, but, like, with this game, um, I definitely will. Yeah. Haven't needed to with the other ones, because uh, someone else always has it. Yeah. You, know? you bought it on my PS4 for Bloodborne. That dulk, man. Right. <laughs> So, uh, with this one, I'll definitely be doing that. Um, I'm excited for anything. Anything that'll come out of this. This is a... Not only oh, did fuck. I beat this game, which, I mean, me beating a game, regardless of it being a Souls game... Very rare. It's rare for me to beat <laughs> a game. You know, like, I play lots of games for, like, an hour, and then never again. Yeah. Me actually finishing a game is, like, something special. The last one I did that wasn't, like... Let's see. Actually, I think the last games I played were all the Souls games, which was in, like, February. Uh -huh. You know, and it's April now. So, it's been, like, two months since I've beaten a game, and it was those three games. And before that, it was, like, Axiom Verge. And that's all, all yeah. I can remember was, like, I think that... I don't think I beat any game in 2015 besides Axiom Verge. Jesus. Like, uh, well, that like, that's probably not true, but they were probably oh, short. Um, that's why I had to jump I mostly off. finish yeah. short games. It's rare for me to finish a longer game. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of games that are even shorter than the Souls games that for whatever reason, I just... Like, Souls games are the only ones where I feel so compelled to play it that 24 best, hours only takes me two days, yeah. you know? Like, all, all the Souls games, I beat them in, like, a couple days just because I fucking raced... I, I just I felt no desire to stop playing. Oh, go, you know? no! Fire like, bombs! Even games I love, like I I love Tomb Raider, right? The the newer one. Yeah. And I I have I had been playing through the original on PS3, then I got the HD version when I got the PS4. I never beat the original. I got like seventy five percent of the way through, uh -huh. and then on the PS4 I've pl like I had a couple times I played it for a couple hours, and that's it. I've never had a time where I just fucking sat down, 
and played through all of it, even though it would only take like a day. Yeah. You know, like it would it would be shorter than Dark Souls, but the Souls games are just so perfect that there's I can't <laughs> stop. I can't yeah. just put it down. I can't be like, eh, that's enough for today. Like I'm on new game plus and i'm more than halfway through how many it. times have you ever done a new game plus like you haven't uh, done them in souls games never or, yeah literally like I, i've played like a little bit of bloodborne on new game plus, i feel like the only much. new game plus i've ever beaten is uh ratchet and clank you never beat a dark souls new game plus <laughs> no nah, i never i never get very far well, we found our pyromancy teacher cool. but uh yeah like um, i'm trying to think if i've ever beaten a new game plus because I, I mean if you just count, like, raising the difficulty, I beat Uncharted on every difficulty way back. Uh -huh. And I've beaten, like, Halo 2 and Gears of War on the highest difficulty, but I don't think that counts as New Game Plus. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I don't think I ever have. I remember way back in the day when I was a huge Tale of Symphonia fan that I tried to play New Game Plus on that, but I think I only got a few hours into it. So. Yeah. Yeah, this is, like, the first game I've gotten significantly into... <laughs> New Game Plus, within, like, days of finishing the actual game. Yeah. All right, we're going to have to end this episode of DigiBros and go eat, so... uh Did have a good time? Yes. All right. Uh, next time on DigiBros... In front of the tree. We'll be fighting that... Fuck yeah, man.